Oh, hi all. Welcome back to the John Deere B tractor restoration. And in this video, I'm going to attempt to reassemble the fan shaft. <laughs> attempt, anyway. Um, first off, we have the fan, the actual shaft itself here, with the fan sitting on one end, on the splines of that end. And I've pre-fitted the beveled gear on this end. You first got to put the inner race of the um, of the bearing on, press it on, press the um, bevel gear on, and then put in one of the these a new snap ring. If you're doing this, don't attempt to. Um, oh, I wouldn't anyway. Attempt to use the old snap rings because they. They're very poor. I don't like them. The horrible snap rings. Um, once they've been stretched, they're stretched, and you can never ever get them to tighten up on anything. So I buy them new. You can still get them from John Deere. So you put the new snap ring on, and then you've got to draw the bearing and the bevel gear tight up to the snap ring with a press. So that's why I haven't done it on video because it can be a bit of a fiddly thing to do to get it right. Um, putting new bearings in, bearing there, all greased up, new seal, which is still available from John Deere, these felt seals, yeah, you pre-oil them, just soak them in oil for five minutes, and then a new cork, cork seal, um, which is there, I've oiled that just to help with putting it into its housing retainer. And on the bench, underneath all the clutter, we put the new bearing into the housing that uh, goes on the front of the governor. Already pre-oiled because that bearing gets that bearing is, is oiled, lubricated from the engine. Whereas the outer bearing, that one, which goes in here, is lubricated by grease through this hole. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is attempt to mount the. Um, the camera, <laughs> if we can, and um, see what we can do. <clears throat> the first thing we did take is take the um, the shaft and the bevel gear and its bearing, and slide the governor end of the housing on through the um, through it. Like so, ensuring that it's, uh, the bearing fits in there, which it does. You can see that it's a nice, uh, nice, it's a nice uh, fit. Like that. Also, I forgot to say that in that beveled, in this new housing, there is a new O-ring, which um, the tube fits into. Now that again, you can get from John Deere. Um, fiddly to replace. This you've got to just replace it because of an oil leak, but if you do have it to bits, well worth it. So I'm going to sit that down onto a block of wood to protect the gear. And then we're going to just um, put a little bit of oil around that so it slips into that oil ring around the tube. I don't want to put too much on because obviously this is to be painted. Like that. And get the um, shaft, slide the, the tube over, and snap it into the into the hole like that. Just check that we're seeing this still. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so the first thing to go in is. Um, is a washer, uh, so I'm going to lubricate the washer up, just to, basically just to um, protect it from rust. I've got that in, put a bit of it off like so. So we've got that over, drop that over like that. There we go. 
Gillar retainer and it's a cork washer and uh, squidge that in there. You usually find when you take these things to bits that that washer is totally destroyed. It, it's uh, that, um, sorry, that uh, cork seal is absolutely jiggered. So I'll just put a bit extra oil on it just to protect it all and help with it. So, yeah. And so we're going to um, put that over there. You just got to be careful about the Try not to tear it up too much on the um, on the splines of the uh, drives the. There we go. Push that in so. Just tap that in a bit. We'll get the spring next. The spring, put that on. There we are. That's it, that's pushing it in. And then you get the bearing. Now the bearing um, needs to go on in the opposite direction to the other one. Because obviously the fr there's thrust here, thrust there, so there's both ends. And it pushes the, um, the inner race like that. So we put that on. Hmm. Just wondering if that, uh, that seal's gone right up too. It hasn't. Thought it seemed a bit off. Just need to somehow get that further down there. Again, spring back on and bearing that's a bit better. I'm just going to uh, bearing in a bit. Oh, it's going to be uh, a bit springy because obviously we've got that spring in which is doing now it's bouncing. That's good. So the next thing to do is we get that felt washer, felt seal sorry, put it in its holder like that. I'm going to put a little bit of grease in it, on it. The uh, grease going to work. Just put a bit of grease in there. And then as a washer goes on. So we've got the uh, got it there. So the washer actually seals into the back of the bearing. And uh, goes on like so. And tap that in. Bigger hammer. Good 
Not be frightened to hit it too hard. It needs a bit of persuasion. I'm just going to take my gloves off because um, I don't want to get everything covered in grease as much as possible, too much anyway. So just go rag, just clean some of that off. Like that. And then the final thing is the fan. What you do is put a bit of oil on that. Like that. We get that and we put it in here. Obviously that is going to uh, Push it down, then we get the two collets. Two collets on. I hope you're seeing this. If you're not, I'll waste you my time. <laughs> there we go, let the collets come back up. And one fan shaft. Excellent. See that? New bearings. So the grease nipple will go in there, and the the new the uh, pulley will go in in this area here. Uh, one word of advice: don't over grease them. If you over grease it, it will push that seal out. Seen it done. So I'm just going to put this on the bench. Have another quick look at it. Off on the bench. So yeah, so there we go. So really just the collets that hold in here, hold the thing on. Um, as I say, the pulley goes in here. Remember it's of a split rim type pulley, so it's two halves, it bolts together. And then you put your grease nipple in there uh, for greasing that bearing. As I say, just pack it initially, but don't overdo it. And then um, every so often on the service, just give it a couple of squirts of grease. And then we come down to this end. And uh, there we go. The uh, bevel gear and the bearing. So yeah. So hopefully that did come out. I'm going to check it now. <laughs> okay then, there we go. Thank you very much. One fan shaft, hopefully rebuilt. <laughs>